time isn't universal. Isaac Newton once imagined time as a universal river flowing at the same rate for everyone. Modern physics turns that idea on its head. Time is relative, varying based on motion and gravity. This concept, called time dilation, arises in Einstein's theory of relativity. It shows that two observers can disagree on how much time has passed, even if they start with identical clocks. In day-to-day -day life, we barely notice this. Our speeds are low, and gravitational differences are small. But when velocities climb near the speed of light, or when gravity is extremely strong, the effects become dramatic. Two people's clocks can end up far out of sync purely because of their different paths through space-time. Velocity Time Dilation Special Relativity, introduced by Albert Einstein in 1905, focuses on inertial frames, observers moving at constant speeds in straight lines. One of its cornerstones is that the speed of light is the same for everyone, regardless of how fast they move. Maintaining this cosmic speed limit forces space and time to adjust, leading directly to time dilation. Imagine two observers. One travels on a spaceship near the speed of light, the other remains on Earth. Each person sees the other's clock running more slowly. This isn't a trick of measurement. It reflects real differences in elapsed time. Your own clock still ticks normally to you, but someone else moving at a very different velocity will measure your time as dilated. The factor that governs this slowdown is the Lorentz factor, often written as gamma, gamma. When speeds are modest, gamma is close to one, so there's almost no noticeable effect. But as you push near light speed, gamma can soar into double digits, meaning a short amount of onboard time can correspond to decades passing for those left behind. The Twin Paradox A classic thought experiment called the Twin Paradox highlights how velocity time dilation works. Two twins start together, one takes a rocket ride at near light speeds, travels a great distance, then turns around and comes back. Upon return, the traveling twin is younger than the twin who stayed home. This can feel contradictory since motion is relative. Couldn't the traveling twin claim the home twin was moving instead? The difference is that the traveler undergoes acceleration to turn around. Special relativity tells us that acceleration breaks the symmetry. Only the traveling twin changes frames, switching direction in space. That's why the stay-at-home twin ages more. This paradox is backed up by experiments with fast-moving particles. Unstable particles like muons decay quickly when at rest, yet they last longer when zipping around a particle accelerator near light speed. From our perspective, their internal processes are slowed, mirroring the traveling twins' experience in the rocket scenario. General Relativity and Gravity Einstein expanded his ideas to include gravity in 1915 with the theory of general relativity. Here, gravity isn't a force pulling objects together. It's the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. Clocks near massive objects tick more slowly than clocks far from them. To see this, Think of Earth. A clock on the ground, where gravity is slightly stronger, runs a tiny bit slower than a clock in a high-rise building. The effect is small, but modern atomic clocks can detect it. If you lived on a dense planet, or near something much more massive, like a neutron star, your time would noticeably lag behind someone in a weaker gravitational field. General relativity explains more than just time slippage. It also tells us that light passing close to a massive body will bend in its path and take longer to travel. This gravitational bending and delay confirm that both the flow of time and the shape of space are intimately linked to the presence of matter gravitational time dilation. One way to test these predictions is to place synchronized atomic clocks at different altitudes. The clock higher up experiences weaker gravity and runs a bit faster. Over time, the lower clock lags behind. This difference doesn't come from any mechanical issue. It's a fundamental result of living in curved space-time. On a cosmic scale, the closer you get to an extremely massive object, the more time slows for you compared to a distant observer. Falling toward a black hole, you'd see the outside universe speed forward as your own clock creeps along by comparison. An outside observer, meanwhile, would see you slow down near the event horizon, almost freezing in time. GPS and daily life Time dilation isn't just a distant, abstract idea. The global positioning system depends on precise timing signals from satellites orbiting Earth. Each satellite moves quickly relative to Earth's surface and also sits in a weaker gravitational field due to its altitude. Both factors affect how its clock runs compared to clocks on the ground. 
Engineers apply two corrections, one for special relativity because of the satellite's velocity and one for general relativity because of gravity. Combined, satellite clocks tick faster by about 38 microseconds per day if left uncorrected. That might not sound like much, but over days or months, it would ruin GPS accuracy by kilometers. Instead, built-in software and hardware fix the offset so your phone can pinpoint your location. Particle accelerator experiments provide another real-world demonstration. When particles like muons move near light speed, we watch them exist far longer than expected. That's velocity time dilation in action, letting us study high-energy collisions before they decay away. Black holes. Black holes are nature's showcase for extreme gravitational time dilation. They pack enormous mass into a tiny region, creating intense curvature. As you approach the event horizon, someone far away sees your clock slow down drastically. If you could hover safely just outside the horizon, ignoring the crushing tidal forces, you'd age more slowly compared to friends watching from afar. Some science fiction stories use this effect. A spaceship parked near a black hole for a short time might return to find that centuries have passed elsewhere. From your perspective, time feels normal. From everyone else's perspective, you were in the grip of slowed time. This isn't a trick or illusion. It follows naturally from the geometry of space-time around a black hole. Cosmic time dilation. Time dilation even appears on gigantic scales. Distant galaxies in the expanding universe show us that powerful events, like supernova explosions, last longer than expected. The explosion's light is stretched out over time by cosmic expansion, making a typical supernova appear to fade more slowly. By comparing these stretched light curves with nearer examples of the same phenomenon, astronomers confirm that the flow of time for faraway events differs from what we see locally. This cosmological time dilation helps demonstrate that the universe evolves, and that light traveling for billions of years is influenced by the changing structure of space-time along the way. Time dilation in everyday settings. Even though relativistic effects are subtle at typical speeds, there are ways they can pop up in daily scenarios. Airplane flights, for instance, introduce small differences in clock readings between passengers and ground controllers. A person living at a high altitude technically ages a bit faster than someone at sea level. Electronics designed for high-speed data transmission sometimes must consider the tiny lags introduced by relativistic shifts in timing. When dealing with microseconds or nanoseconds, ignoring relativity can lead to real engineering errors. Atomic clocks, high-frequency trading networks, and telecommunication systems all rely on the fact that time isn't absolutely uniform across different frames of motion or different gravitational potentials. Putting it all together, time dilation stems from two main ideas, moving close to light speed, special relativity, and dwelling in a stronger gravitational field, general relativity. Each factor can slow your clock relative to someone else's. In extreme cases, high-speed journeys, or strong gravity wells, these effects become unmistakable. They also combine in complex ways. Satellites in orbit move fast, causing special relativistic slowing, but they also experience weaker gravity, which speeds their clocks up. Up. Near a neutron star, gravitational time dilation dominates. In a hypothetical near light speed spacecraft, velocity time dilation rules. Whenever physicists measure these scenarios precisely, they confirm Einstein's predictions. No single global time governs the universe. Instead, time depends on your state of motion and where you sit in a gravitational field. Relativity upends the old notion of an absolute clock ticking in the same way for everyone. It shows instead that reality is built from many timelines, each shaped by how observers move through the curved canvas of space-time. 